Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to discuss another problem from lead code on the dynamic programming playlist. You can first, I will first make you understand the problem statement and then we are going to move to the solution part. So the problem is telling you that you are given an array of words in which each word is consisting of lower English L words. Okay. Now word A is a predecessor of word B if and only if you can insert exactly one letter anywhere in word A without changing the order and that will become equal to b in simple terms you have some string and you, if you have some string a let's assume you have a string a and you will insert any character in that string a just insert one character and don't change the order of that string now the new string that will form if that is equal to b then a is a predecessor of b because you can convert a to b so as you can see in this example if abc is a predecessor of a b a c because in this string if you insert a a here you will form this string but c b a is not a predecessor because in this you have also changed the like order i hope you get the point now you are given a word chain so you have different words and you have to find out that a, a word one is a predecessor of word two then it will eventually form us like a chain so there's a word one then a word two then word three so every word two like a word it will form a chain if the other word is a uh, like so if word one is a predecessor of word two then it will form a chain and so on now you have to find out the longest chain possible in the given words you have so the first observation you can pause this video to understand or you can first try this problem out the code link or the the problem link will be in the description you can check the code like the problem out and you can try to solve this out but the first thing which comes to my mind is okay if you want to go from one string to another the string the length should be the, like the length difference should be equal to one if the length difference is anything else then the other string cannot be a predecessor okay so if this first string is abc then the other string should be having a length equal to four so it can be equal to a b b c this is fine but maybe a b b b c is not a predecessor okay even though it's fine but no this is not because you cannot go from this string to this string because two characters are added you can go from this string to this string which is fine this is not fine i hope you get the point so it means that you have to get the length of each character that will eventually help you now so what's better to just sort the string like sort these whole words out according to their length now if you sort these strings out according to the lengths what will eventually happen is you have the first string maybe of length one now the string can be length two and two like there's two or there are two three strings of length two then there are two strings of length three then there are some strings of length four and so on now maybe it can happen that from this string you can reach this string as well as this string what i mean by this is let's assume that this string is a and this is a b and this is a c now you can eventually move from a to a b or a to a c i hope you get the point but maybe this string is b a you can also reach there but let's assume it is b c now you cannot reach this okay now maybe this this string is equal to a b c so you can reach from this string to this string so this string can be now this string can be equal to a uh, a c b now as you can see from a b you can reach this string a b c and also from a c you can reach this string so if you insert a b in the in the between you can reach this so i hope you get the point like this is forming some, some sort of a chain okay so you can like you can see that it is forming some sort of arrows and now maybe from this string you can reach this string or somewhat any string or not okay and so what you can see in this problem is from every point from every point you can tell that what is the difference like what is distance it can reach so what you can do here is from every string from every string try to form these connections out so use a for loop first sort all the strings out which is fine then use a for loop and go from left to right and take the first string out like take the current string out if you haven't processed on it what i mean by processed is as you can see now if i go from one till two you know that after two you have options going from this to this like from two you can go to this point you can also go from this to this but from two you can go to this point you cannot go to this so from two this two you know the path 
I hope you get the point. So, because from two, you know the path. So you have already processed out. So you don't have to reprocess it. So you can store this value in some DP. DP of i. I means that if you start at this current i point, what is the maximum length you can reach? Okay. So from you can just use your for loop from i equal to n. And if you haven't processed the particular character or like the particular word, then process like process on that. If you have already processed it in the given process, then just leave it out. Okay, now how you can process it? Process it. Just take the current element, and for that current element, iterate from left to right over all the strings. You you only have to take that string which is having a length greater than like just just one more than the current current like string length. If it is just current one length string length, and what you can do here is only one character is inserted between this string and this string. If there is only one character which is inserted between this and this string, then obviously this can be a particular, uh, like you can add an arrow, or like this can increase the chain. This is like this one can be predecessor of two. So now th from this two, you can again call this function out so that now from two, at which point I can go? Can I go to this? No. Can I go to this? No. Can I go to this three? Okay, let me check. If I can go to this three, let me check. Can I go to four? No. From four onwards, you cannot go because the length will eventually be more than four. I only want to cat like a word which is having a length equal to three. I hope you get the point. So if you have reached a point which is more than four, then obviously I have sorted the whole string out, so it will be having more length. So don't process them. So that's how you can store out from the particular i what is the maximum length you can go, and then you can eventually use that to find out the longest chain. So I will show you the code part now. So first sort the whole word vector. So use this lambda function to sort the whole strings according to their lengths. Now use a DP table, which is eventually helping you to store out for the from the starting from the i string what is the maximum length you can reach. So initialize everything with minus one so that I will know that I haven't processed that particular i. Then the maximum length till now is equal to one. Now iterate over from every starting position, and from every starting position tell me what is the maximum length I can go. So I will call this OK function. If this OK function, if the particular i is already processed, then it will eventually return, return out the answer in O of n, which is like just looking in the DP table. If it, if it hasn't been calculated, then we just calculate the answer. And the maximum is the maximum over all the possible starting points. Now, how this OK function will work? This OK function will first check that whether I have processed that particular DP, which is the starting point. If that starting point is already calculated, if it's not equal to minus one, then, then just return out that starting DP value. If it is not calculated, the answer will be one. The one means that okay, from this particular word, I have to check that going from this particular word till more ahead, whether there is some chain forming. If I take that particular word, the chain length obviously will be one. Okay, so for every word, the chain length should be one. Then I will I will go from i plus one, the start plus one till n, and then just check that whether the particular word I was on from which I was starting out. And the current word I am on, which I am looking for, whether this is the predecessor, the starting word is a predecessor of the next word, ith word. If it is, then the answer is I have to add one to it because I have to calculate the total number of chains because the total chain I have is one. So I have to maximize my answer over which I have to add one, and I will eventually call this OK function again for the new chain. So if I am on this two. I will check that okay, this three is a predecessor. Like this two is a predecessor of three, which is forming a chain. Now, because this is forming a chain, my chain increased by one, so total length will become two. And now I will eventually call my OK function again from this point, so that I will check that okay, from this point, what is the longest chain I can get, and so on. So yeah, and just after it, like before returning out the answer, just store that particular starting point from the starting point. What is the maximum length I can get? Now, how to check that whether a string A is a predecessor of B? So, A is a predecessor of B. How we can check that? We have to first to check that whether A is a predecessor of B. We have to check that like the length of A and B. If the length of A and B is are same, then obviously it is not a predecessor. If the length is greater than B, if the length of B is greater than A, then we also it is not possible. We only get inside when the length of B is just equal one length, like one more than the length of A. And how we can check that? If the string a, like the, if the string a is, let's assume, so I have two strings, like b and a. Okay, so string b is 
formed by just taking out one character. So let's assume that the string A is ABC and the string length B string, which is like just one character added. It can be like this A, B, B, C. So it means that I have added one character out. If I just delete out that one character and append the two strings again, I will form the A string again. I hope you get the point. So there is one character which is addition, ad like addition. If I just delete out that character and join the two halves again, it will form the original A string. So that's what I got it root. It did over every possible word from the length over that string, the B string. And the modified string is just add the two substring, deleting out the current word. So take the two substrings, add them out the two substrings. I'm just uh, like finding out the two substrings. If the ith character is not taken, I will take the first substring starting from 0th index of the length i and then the next substring is starting from i plus 1 because I am neglecting the ith word and the length and just merge them out. I am just adding these two strings out. If the new modified string is equal to a, then obviously it means that I have just added one character from a and it has reached b. So this is obviously a is a predecessor of b. So just return out true. Else if we haven't find out that answer then the answer is false. I hope you understand the logic and the code part. So this is the check function, the OK function and the main function from which we are calling this. I hope you understand the logic and code part and before the, and we just store this DP value in this global value. So I hope you get the point. If you have any doubts, you can mention on. I'll send you a hundred like keep coding.